everyone. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to passage cells. Um, another term we use is cell splitting. And so I'm just going to show you exactly how you do that with a very um, straightforward example. So today in our example, we're going to do something called a one to two split. So here we have our tissue culture plate with our cells. This dish contains 10 mils of media. We also have our fresh media that's been already warmed. We have our glass pasture pipette already connected to the vacuum. And we have our 10 mil pipettes. So in order to first um, passage your cells, you're gonna go ahead and aspirate the media from your original cell culture dish. And the cells are adhered to the bottom. So um, you won't be disturbing them when you aspirate the media. So I'm going to take this pipette and you just want to tilt the dish a little bit and get all of the media on one side. Now that your media has been aspirated, you're next going to resuspend your cells. And there's a layer of cells at the bottom. So all you need to do is use your pipette and you just want to basically attack your cells gently with this fresh media. And before I do that, I'm going to set up a new plate because this is the old plate and we want to discard it. So you're gonna grab a new plate and you wanna be careful not to put your hand inside of the bag. So you just want to sort of use the bag and shimmy the plate on to the top. All right, now you can grab it. And with this last plate, just seal the bag. Okay, all right. And you wanna make sure that your dish is facing the proper way, so you have the lid facing up. And you're going to label your new plate. You wanna label the cell type, and we are using N2A cells. You also want to label today's date. And you want your initials and the uh, passage number. So we're going to put the letter P for passage. And this is our first passage. So I'm gonna put number one. So whenever you do another round of cell passaging or cell splitting, you want to update your new plate with the with the date and the passage number so because we're doing a one to two split this just means that we're going to take five mils of our resuspended cells and add them to a new plate with five mils of fresh media so going back here we have our cells that are adhered to the bottom of our original plate I'm just going to go ahead and resuspend them with a new pipette. And I'm going to resuspend them in 10 mils of fresh media. So to resuspend the cells, you also want to have your plate tilted and you're just going to go ahead and go around the side a few times and wash the plate essentially. You should be able to see the film of the cells and as you continue to attack them gently with media, they'll start to um, 
disappear from the bottom of the plate and you'll find them collecting in the media instead of sticking onto the plate. So you just wanna do this a few times. Make sure that you're able to get all the cells. Occasionally you'll have a group of cells that are a little bit stubborn and you just want to focus your media on that area. All right, so once you've resuspended the cells, in this example, we're going to take five mils of our cells. We're going to put them in a brand new plate. And then using a brand new 10 ml pipette, we're going to add five mils of fresh media. And once you have your brand new passage cells, you just wanna go ahead and make sure that the cells are evenly distributed. So before you look at it under the microscope, go ahead and rock the plate back and forth and side to side, and just gently redistribute the cells across the bottom of the plate. There are many different ways you can passage your cells. And this is just one example. The remaining cells in the original plate can either be discarded or you can transfer the remaining five mils into a new tissue culture plate with five mils of fresh media. That way you'll have two plates of newly passaged cells. Like I said, there's a variety of ways you can passage your cells. So I would recommend writing it all down ahead of time and uh, calculating out exactly what you're going to do. I hope you found this video helpful and I wish you all the luck in cell culture work. Thank you.